Science in Pre-K is a partnership with DC Public Schools for professional development for preschool teachers. In Science in Pre-K, our philosophy is that um, science for young children should be age appropriate. It should be focused on the way young children learn. In Science in Pre-K, we start with open exploration and then move into a more focused exploration where students are engaged more deeply into a subject and it's iterative over time. So the students learn more and more about a subject through explorations in the classroom. Introducing science varies on what the topic is. Um, there are some things that can take a short time, for example, with lights and shadows, just reading Moon Bear Shadow at morning meeting can be a very short activity and then allowing students to have an opportunity to play with lights and shadows during a center time. Or it can be something that we do over time depending on what it is, sink or float, water exploration. I use a lot of different types of technology in my classroom to teach science. I like to use the smart board, a digital camera, as long as a flip camera to document and explore different science concepts. Inquiry Science to me has really meant allowing students to explore but also giving students challenges and focus exploration so that they're able to really delve deeper into these science topics and it's not just observation, it's more than that. And I think that's the biggest way science and pre-K has changed my classroom teaching. Before science and pre-K, I kind of just looked at science as an exploration, looking at leaves underneath the magnifying glass and maybe drawing a picture of what they see, but now it's really hands-on experience and the students are really, really active. I think documentation and English Inquiry science in the classroom is important not only to document their growth and development but also to really get an understanding of what they are learning. Documentation is an excellent way to build upon literacy in the classroom. Documentation for young children begins with making marks on pages, taking the time to focus in on what they're observing and begins helping them with their graphomotor skills and their attention to detail. I've seen the students' vocabulary improve with them talking about um, using the words experiment and discovery and investigation. Students can be inspired by so many different things that there are maybe things in their community that they can go out and be inspired. Going to the museum is a great way to inspire students to learn more about science or just going on walks around your neighborhood and seeing, say, shadows or the different materials that a building is made out of and how that building is put together. All of those things can be inspirations back in the classroom that can help the children to go deeper in their understanding about how science works in the real world. The idea of inquiry is to give children a chance to be exposed to ideas, to learn deeply about them, and have the chance to ask questions and continue reflecting on what they're learning and be able to explore even more and more as the school year goes on.